All right, so Necrovation is a Swedish death metal band who've been around, well, they've been around forever, it would seem. I think they formed in 2003 or 2004, and uh, this was an era, a very different era for Swedish death metal, and it's one that, yeah, I, like most of this review, because it's just a 7-inch with 10 minutes worth of music on it, is spent uh, reminiscing about the emergence of a new breed of Swedish death metal band, and one that was very much in accordance with the old school underground and where it could go after 2000. And, you know, bands like uh, some of my absolute favorites, like Verminous and um, what who I think Repugnant uh, is in there too, Kamos, yeah, of course Kamos. Uh, they set the stage for a lot of bands that came after in terms of saying, hey, you could play old school death metal in uh, the thrashing, serious way and still get people to notice. Now, these bands didn't blow up, but they were loved after the fact because they, they really were the impetus for, a, a you know, an intense wave of great bands from Sweden. And, well... You know, we get Ghost from that movement somehow. We get Tribulation from that movement somehow. Uh, but we also get uh, Ensnared, uh, Stench, and Necrovation. And I think Necrovation was the one who took it the furthest, the quickest, even though they were a little bit later to start than some of, the, of these other bands. Um, and they arrived right around the time that, uh, like, Morbus Cron was really catching on. So a lot of people definitely got on board with their very traditional but great 2008 full length and then they released uh, their self-titled full length which was maybe it was just like a year too early or or whatever because it didn't hit as hard as tribulations formulas of death which was just a a huge deal that next year and it didn't hit hard as swebin um and but yet it was the perfect precursor to both and it had a lot of the same traits as both uh, you know they were all accused of being death and roll at some point for their progressive rock influences and and uh, psychedelic rock bits in there and some of the post-punk uh, beats that would come into some of those bands later on so in a lot of ways this was an influential band that you would have to kind of just be an underground retard to really remember or know and that's where i sit with it so when I see the name Necrovation and I see new material when it's been uh, a very quite a few years, it's pretty exciting. Um, I think that this type of music really was, you know, the. It was the precursor to where bands like Speglis, Ghastly, and Cadaveric Fumes uh, found their language or, you know, th there's a relation there between uh, rock influences that don't create death and roll, uh, if you will. Um, so these two songs are not necessarily stuck back in 20, uh, 2012. They're a little bit more focused on uh, different kinds of rock music and different beats that would uh, accentuate those uh, kind of psychedelic and searching guitar uh, riffs and leads that stretch through both of these songs in a way that uh, you'd find in like a reveal album. I think it's a comparison I make. Uh, but they still stick with actual death metal and that's a, a big point that most people will understand where like, no, it's not you know it's not a cannibal corpse ep but it is still death metal it is still extreme it still has a ton of riffs and they're constantly turning on a dime within each of these five to, you know five or six minute songs so for me that's uh, a sign that they are thriving in their thoughts they've put a ton of thought into this uh these two songs and it really bodes well to the future if this is just where they're starting their presentation if they're coming back and putting going to put out more uh, obviously the, I'm always very open about the fact that if I'm a huge fan of a band and they put out something good, of course, that's my bias speaking to how good this is. Uh, you'd have to sit down with both of these songs. And if you know nothing about the band, you, you have your own associations and thoughts. For me, this is a very high recommendation because it's 
very good. And uh, they put so much into these two songs that it's like the perfect addition to that collection of the releases that I have. It's awesome to see that they still have it after so long. And it's just a cool thing. I, I love that album cover. Um, uh, these two songs are fantastic in general. You can you can read a little bit more spurging out over that in the actual written review. But general general consensus on my side is that this is pretty damn great. So um, check that out if you want more details on the site. And uh, we'll have a short clip of one of those songs to send us off here. <laughs> 